Hello everybody, welcome to Stampers Club. I'm Karen Tralfa and today I have a little bit of a tropical flare card for you to show you how to make. You're gonna love it. It's very um, monochromatic, definitely a great card for a gentleman or anybody that really likes that palmy kind of weather. So let me show you what we're gonna be using. I chose for today's card the Paradise Palms Bundle. It has the Paradise Palms stamp set and a matching die set. Now, of course, some of the dies are directly used to cut out the images, or you can use them on your own. And then there's a few pieces that are actually meant to be accent elements. They're not even, there's not a matching stamp set. They're meant to be used separately. But you have a few that are meant to cut the actual images out too. Today, I'm only gonna be using the greeting out of the stamp set and I'm gonna show you some of the dies just by themselves. Um, if you'd like to know where to find this, you can of course shop online at stampersclub.com. But if you have a catalog, if you need one, let me know and I can get it sent to you. Uh, but it's on page 25, it's the Palms die. You have lots of other samples here that you can use. But I'm also gonna be partnering it with one of our free celebration designer papers. So in the, uh, in the celebration sale in January and February of 2022, we have a selection of things that you can get for free. And I'm going to use one of the pieces of this floral paper in this uh, uh, friendly hello suite. So this is kind of a, a fun set of paper. Now, what I'm going to show you, you're not going to see that in this, it's in this picture, but when you see it on the card, you're going to go, that paper? Really? You got that out of that paper? How'd you come up with that? Well, let me show you what we're going to do. All right. Push that aside here. And we're going to need this die. That's it. One die, one stamp. That's all we're going to use today. You're going to love that, right? All right. So I'm going to start with a half a sheet of Granny Apple Green cardstock. Now, doesn't this say palmy weather to you? And I'm just going to fold that in half and, and crease it down with my bone folder, which is somewhere. There it is. Just is. I'm just going to run that across with my bone folder. You can certainly score that at four and a quarter if you prefer to score yours instead of fold it in half. I'm going to layer that with a piece of basic white cardstock that is cut at four and one eighth by five and three eighths. Now I've already pre-embossed this just to save some time with the painted textures embossing folder. I just wanted, you know, just a little artistic flair going on there. Okay. And that I'm going to just use some stamp and seal. Put that on there and layer that right on there. I did use a non-traditional border of an eighth inch instead of a quarter of an inch there. But you just get a nice little, let's see if I can get my lights to not glare so badly. I don't think it's going to happen. There we go. All right, so that's that. All right, now I'm going to use a piece of Granny Apple Green and wait for it. Here's that designer paper. Watch when I flip it. Does that look more familiar? You can certainly, you can certainly see that in here, but I'm using this little out of the way piece of Granny Apple Green. This one's Granny Apple too, but this one's just kind of got, you know, some frondy leaves on it. So I'm gonna use that one. I think it's, just, it's amazing that we have this color and this color. It's like, really? But, whoa, look at that. I'm going to go right here. If you'd like more details on this card, you can go over to um, stampersclub.com, or I should have a link in the bottom here in the description. That should help you out with a link of which, which post it's on. And this, I'm not quite done with yet. I need to get this dye and a scrap of black. And I'm going to get my stamp cut and emboss machine. 
could use the little one, but I cut my paper a little big, so we gotta get the big guy out. So this is the uh, stamp and cut and emboss machine. I stamp it up, which is awesome. And I'm gonna get my black, and then this is just the palm tree. Can you see this card coming together yet and what we're doing here? We're kind of doing a little nighttime, daytime image. All right, so let's get that one. I'm going to come back just so that I don't have to, like, play with the, with the machine and on my table. You don't normally have to do that. In fact, look, it stays stuck in the die when I do it twice because it's, it is such a firm cut that it uh, likes to stay stuck in the die. Let's see if I can get that out of there. It's definitely in there. Guess I should have only went through it once. Now I got little pieces stuck in there too. All right, I'm gonna flip that around. I have just a quarter of a sheet of black cardstock here is what I'm using. It was just what was in my bin. And then again, we're gonna cut that through. Move that machine out of the way. Let's see if we've got this still stuck in there. Well, oh, still stuck in there. Wow. That definitely cut well. Use my little take a pick tool with my brush and my piercing tool. Have you seen this tool? This is definitely a, uh, wow. That was a firm cut, wasn't it? This is a great little tool. So you can change the ends. This one has a little spatula or the piercing tool, so you can flip it around and do either one. And then this also has, I have two of them because I like to use all the tools together. This has one of those little, it's like a little sticky end so that you can uh, pick up small pieces with it. So it has like a little sticky end there. And then the spatula end. So I just use, I always have two of them. It's always good to have. You can switch it around so you don't have to have two items, but. It's all good. All right, we don't need that anymore. So we're going to put these two palm trees on there. I'm going to get some black dimensionals. If you don't have black dimensionals or know about them, they are awesome. They come in a package with both minis and standard size ones. But this one right now, I'm going to do... Um, a black one and I'm just gonna put it right in the middle here and I'm just gonna use one and I'm just gonna put this right here I'm not gonna I'm not gonna dimensional the stem just the palm tree itself and then the other one I'm gonna do the exact same thing on but I'm gonna put I'm gonna double stack it I'm going to use two dimensionals because I want that to be a little higher off the card than the first one. And I'm just going to kind of offset it a little bit. Yeah, maybe about like right there. Okay. I'm going to trim off the bottoms of these because I don't need them that long. And I'm going to get some of this brand new Whisper White um, frayed ribbon. To add a little I'll do this tape on the end of it here get this I just want I just want tape on the two ends I don't want to go um, in the middle because we're going to do something special with it here and I'm going to put it right over there and I'm not going to do this tightly I'm going to do I'm going to leave this a little bit loose you can always come back and tighten it up if we want to but I'm just going to give it a little bit of looseness there I just want to be able to tack it down so that I can get around it with some black baker's twine. Okay, so we're going to need that. We need one more element first. I'm going to use a piece of scrap. <clears throat> Granny Apple Green. Boy, I couldn't remember it. And I'm going to show you two different things. Let's see if this is a big enough piece of paper. No, it's not quite a big enough piece of paper. So I won't do it that way. And Memento Black. And I'm just going to stamp down 
the happy birthday. Like I said I was only using that image. And I just, you see what I did? See the line around there? And I know that's going to show up when I go to punch this out. I know that. So what I'm going to do right now, clean that stamp so I can touch it. I'm going to take this off my block. I'm going to get a pair of scissors. And I am going to trim this rubber closer to the greeting. And just get rid of that extra. Because then... We'll flip that over when I stamp I don't have a chance of having that extra that extra line that goes around there okay I'm going to use a circle punch um, of course you can use a circle die too I just happen to have the punch on hand so that's what I grabbed and oh, I really didn't want it that high let me uh, let me grab a different piece here. Do that one more time. And actually, let me show you now. Um, if you have the circle already cut out, by trimming that stamp like I did, you now know, have a better idea of where the image actually is on the stamp. Okay? And I wanted it down a little bit. So then, see how it works? So you can actually get it anywhere you want. <laughs> Either way works. Okay. All right. Now I want to have um, a little hole in the top here. So I'm just going to use a hand punch. Get a little hole in the top there. All right. Black Baker's twine. You go under that ribbon. And I'm just going to tie, you know, I'm just going to tie this together over here. What I want to do is I want to scrunch up this ribbon. So that's why I wanted you to leave it a little bit loose, or I left it a little bit loose, because I want to scrunch it up. Now that it's scrunched up, I can tighten it down a little bit. I actually put one on that side. I can tighten this down a little bit with that tape up. That's why I just use tape. And I just want to scrunch it. Okay? Take my baker's twine and go through that little hole. Do the same thing. I'm just gonna tie that little that little tag on there, and I'm just gonna make a bow. Just a standard little bow. Nothing. If you hold your finger here when you pull the tails, it stops the twine from twisting which sometimes makes it so that you lose you lose your loops when you pull. So I'm just kind of trying to keep the, the twine flat. All right, and then let's trim these tails a little bit. They don't need to be that long. Now this whole element I'm going to put up on dimensionals. And we'll get one in the middle. And we're going to put it right in the center. And I want this to be offset a little bit. So I'm going to, I don't like that it's hanging straight down. I'm just going to get a little dimensional on the back of it. And I want to have it a little bit crooked. So we're just going to like tack it down, being a little bit crooked. And look at that. Just a super simple little monochromatic perfect for a guy, right? The greeting sets also have uh, some other image, some other greetings that would work great on a card like this. Retirement wishes. I mean, who doesn't want to retire to someplace tropical? Happy birthday. Of course, wishing you a warm and beachy kind of day. That would certainly go with this too. So the greetings are a little bit, um, a little bit versatile. So you have like more than just a birthday card. All right. I want to thank everybody for coming. It's been a pleasure showing you how to make this really super quick little palmy card, right? And feel free to join me on another day. 
you can certainly check out my website, stampersclub.com. I would love to see and hear some comments about how well you liked this card. Of course, positivity is always better than negativity, so try to be nice. In case you didn't like it, you can just let me know that. And be, be sure to subscribe to the YouTube, subscribe to my channel, blah, 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 subscribe to my channel so that you can get notifications of future videos and learn a few more tips and tricks with stamping. You have a stamp happy day. Bye now.